Oh, come on, Bizhawk. Don't be like that. What the heck, Bizhawk? Oh, wait, no. That's actually... Yeah. That was weird. It made the screen bigger just to display the Donkey Kong sign. That's um, a strange design decision. I do really like the SNES opening, though. It's Cranky Kong. <laughs> this this is a great opening for the game. <laughs> Cranky Kong being the original DK and then the new DK coming in with his improved graphics. Although, admittedly, throwing a TNT barrel at him seems uh, a little bit excessive, Cranky. So here we go. It's time for Donkey Kong Country. I don't know why I couldn't press start earlier. <laughs> I had to restart the movie. Anyhow, we're just doing a one-player game. And it just boots you right on into it. Off to the Congo jungle? Let's just get right at it, shall we? Oh no! That's the, that's the only plot we actually get. We see his banana hoard is empty, and he's like, oh, man. Well, DK, if you forget to go to the grocery store and buy bananas, that does happen. Might as well get the one-up balloon. This game really shouldn't need an introduction, but it's a 2D side-scrolling platformer for the Super Nintendo. And it's really great. Oh, that's right. I forgot the Kremlins are actually green in the SNES version. That's a good change, or that was a bad change for the G they made the GBA version made them purple for some dumb reason. Checkpoint already? Wow! Oh no, we lost TK. That's okay. We have Diddy, and he's faster. <laughs> Jungle hijinks is such a great starting level. Really gets you pumped for the whole game and introduces you to the basics. I don't really care for the animal tokens. I don't need the one-ups, and they don't give you cameras like they do in the GBA version, so I'm going to probably go out of my way to avoid those for the most part. Whee! Oh, yeah! And the SNES version actually has this level transition to nighttime. That's another great... Uh... Again, SNES version has some really cool graphical stuff that the GBA version does not have. And we got the exclamation point at the end of the level, so that means we got all the bonus barrels. Off to level two, Ropey Rampage. Diddy controls very similarly to how he does in the GBA version. DK, though, is a lot clunkier. Whee! Okay, I can't remember which gap. There we go. <laughs> Couldn't remember if it was the first or the second gap in there. Do I know about the hidden balloons? Yeah, don't need them. Trust me, we're going to be getting a lot of balloons in this playthrough. You'll see. Whoa, hey. Oh, winky token. I didn't really want that. Oh man, I forgot how good the storm effects are in this game. Fantastic. Bonus barrel time! No idea how people found a lot of these bonus barrels. <laughs> they just happened to fall in that really small pit. Yay! We beat the bonus barrel! Good job, Diddy. I'll be playing as Diddy throughout, I think, most of this game, if I can. I like him a lot better. Got the better speed and the better aerodynamics for platforming. Gotta spell calm. We actually don't. No, the SNES version's good! I just happen... I would argue the SNES version's probably better, but I prefer the GBA version. That's, that's all I'm saying. Hey, boy, did you fetch my paper? In jungle hijinks, stick to the treetops during extra lives. If you see a barrel with stars on it, break it open. It's a midpoint marker. Come back at TV Shop time. I'll be here. All right, thanks, Cranky. Off to the caves for a reptile rumble. I like the cave levels. Really good atmosphere. Actually, wait a second. 
Pretty sure that's a bonus barrel right at the beginning right there. Yep. Mainly the, the GBA version, again, it just tightened up the controls to make everything control better. And it added some extra content, like uh, the cameras. And just some quality of life improvements, like you can save anywhere. It added some new minigames, a level stat screen. Fixed the camera in some levels. Added some warp barrels. It's just a fun time, you know. And this, yes, there is also the Game Boy Color version, which, it, it's handheld. Oh no! <laughs> I don't care that much about the banana bunches. I don't care a bunch. Oh, bye! Also, fun fact, when I played Donkey Kong Country for the first time, I did not realize that you could run. Which made a lot of levels way harder. <laughs> Which is why I kind of want to attempt a no-running challenge. Like, it actually made some of the levels almost impossible. But I still beat the game. <laughs> Ungard token? No way. Who cares about that? Alright, I still got it! Coral Capers! Oh, it's everyone's favorite underwater music, apparently. I like this music, but it's not... I probably don't like it as much as other people. I would say it's probably the weakest water song in the trilogy. Then again, I just... I really, really like Lockjaw's Saga from 2. Really atmospheric music, though. It, it is still a beautiful composition. It's just the bar is really high. <laughs> David Wise is a genius. Hi, On Guard. Let's go for a ride. But, like, oh, come on. Why do we have to be at, like, the very top of the screen so we can't see? Oh, no, I missed out on the one-up. That's okay. Where we're going, we don't need one-ups. Yeah, Chumps Jr. Hey, Madmore Gaming, welcome. Yeah, this game is fantastic. One of one of the all-time great 2D platformers, and one of my favorite games. I still like the second one better, but this is this is uh, number two for sure. Actually, wait, that way leads to an Unguard token or an Expressor token, and I don't want that because if you get the bonus, it kicks you back to the start of the level where the checkpoint. And you can't say no. <laughs> hey, Clambo. Even Ongar ta can't take out the octopus. Correct. Underwater levels do not have bonus barrels. Yo, it's Funky's Flights! We don't need to see Funky's Flights, though. We're off to Barrel Cannon Canyon. Where there are a lot of shortcuts. Except I'm pretty sure the shortcuts bypass some of the uh, the bonus rooms. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't take all the shortcuts. Oh, hey, we got the Winky token. I don't want the Winky tokens. It's the second worst bonus. <laughs> Bad. I do miss... Mm. I do really miss the GBA sound effects, though. When you hit the Kremlins, instead of going just like, ah, they're like, nah. <laughs> Sounds more cartoony. Oh, I could have taken the show. Oh, well. Hi, Rambi. Yeah, well, we'll grab you. Um... Hi, camera. Why do people know that about me just off the top of their head? Yeah. 
Yeah, hi, Nintendo Addict. I kind of agree, yeah. I mean, I like them in the GBA version, because A, you can get even more tokens to get just a stupid amount of one-ups. But also because you can get special cameras for getting large amounts of tokens. Hey, you're Raid Pirate! Nice! Yeah! Donkey Kong Country 2! Definitely my favorite in the series as well. Good job. I said to myself egotistically. Yeah! Do do do! Oh no, I don't want the on guard to. I wanted the one up. Oh, but you can get more one ups in the on guard. Yes, that is correct. But it takes me back in time. I think that was the last bonus room? Oh, now the level gets difficult. Alright, can you shoot through barrel cannons and avoid bees at the same time? What if they're both moving? I do love barrel cannons, though. One of my favorite gimmicks in Donkey Kong Country. And it's the reason why Treetop Town is my favorite level. Yeah! You've never won a one the game? Well, we might be doing that tonight. I'm gonna try if I can, but no pressure one way or another. Hi, Candy Kong! This is my save point. I prefer being able to save anywhere, but it's not like her GBA Dance Studio minigame is very good. Very naughty Slayer, boss time! Oh yeah, and the bosses are totally different between the versions as well. Get wrecked, very naughty. Like, they actually, like, totally changed most of the bosses in the GBA version. At least, like, their attack patterns. <laughs> yeah, very naughty's one of the easiest first bosses, like, ever. Alright, time for Winky's Walkway. Which I think is the shortest level in the game, in terms of pure length. Like, this level is extraordinarily short. And apparently the Game Boy Color version actually made it longer. That would have been cool to see. Uh, Winky is also not a great animal buddy. He has a, he has a hard time of uh, moving and jumping at the same time. That's why we gotta be very careful with how we move him. <laughs> oh yeah, Snow Barrel Blast. That level is no fun at all. No, we will not get the Expresso token. Hey. Like, we're already we are literally already at the end of the level. Jeez Louise, that is short. <laughs> Only one bonus barrel, too. Oh boy! Uh, time for difficulty spike the level. There's a warp barrel that I might take advantage of if I have to, but I'll try to do it the legit way. It's so weird that this is one of the first levels in World 2, and then the other minecart level, which is one of the last levels in the second to last world, is way easier than this one. <gasps> Barely made that! I don't want more on guard tokens. Yeah, this level is. oof. A lot of precise jumps that need to be made, and it's always fun when the game don't register your jumps. Ungard's got a nice... I like his design, and he is useful in the underwater levels, but his bonus is the worst. You only can get like four one-ups from it, and that's if you're good. <laughs> I hope you know the crashes are coming in advance, otherwise you're, uh... You're not gonna get it through it. Look how fast they move. Yep, I was waiting for that. Wow. <laughs> Th 
There's also there's also another trick you can do on this level, by the way. Which I actually might show off both of the tricks <laughs> afterwards. Because this level actually has no bonus barrels. And thankfully, it's we don't need to spell calm to get 100%. Ouch! <laughs> Stupid crashes. It's funny though, I actually am finding this level easier than I remember because I'm, I actually... I did a little... Back in the days... I actually did a tiny bit of modding in DK Country 1 for the SNES to make the levels even harder. I only did a couple levels, but Minecart Carnage was one of them and I made this level a lot more difficult. <laughs> Crashes were in different places. I took pieces of the track out, so you had to jump a lot more. It was not fun. All right! No, the, the SNES version has the column letters, but you don't need to spell them on every level to get 100%. And then there's the war barrel. But there's actually an even better trick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that stupid last crash. No, don't. Oh wait, no. If you re-beat the level as DK, it doesn't replace Diddy's face with DK's face. Interesting. I know we already beat this level twice, but there's another really cool trick you can do. We just gotta get back to the halfway barrel. This one is not nearly as well known as the uh, warp barrel. But if if you've already reached the checkpoint barrel and you can't really go back to the warp barrel and you're having a lot of trouble, this next trick is for you. All right, no, no, no! I don't want to go to the on guard bonus. Great. Time to get a bunch of tokens. At least we get to hear Bonus Room Blitz. That's a fun song. Best bonus by far is the Unguard bonus. Not the, not the Unguard bonus. The, the Unguard bonus is the Espresso bonus. The other animal buddy whose name begins with E. You can get like 999 tokens on that one. It's crazy. Let's see if I can get 500 tokens on this level. Actually, I already have gotten it. Times two. Maybe we can get 600 tokens. Do you get more time for this in the SNES version? Oh, we hit 600. There we go. Six one-ups for us. Yay. And now we get to go back to the start of the level again. I promise you guys, this is going to be worth it. It's really cool. It involves glitches, which are one of my favorite things. <laughs> and soon to be one of your favorite things, too. Whee! Alright, let's try this again. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if you jump up the hills. <laughs> save a lot of time. Oh, we are definitely getting up to 99 lives. Alright, here we go. So we start select to end the level. Start the level and just start tapping A and B at the same time. Nope, we messed it up. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> Why is it not working? It's supposed to be every... Oh, maybe I have to do another trick in advance. Hang on. You're supposed to be able to just... If you tap A and B at the same time before you hit the minecart, you can jump. And it's supposed to be if you keep tapping A and B. Okay, hang on. No, actually, maybe you have to do another trick first. Never mind. We're going to Bouncy Bonanza. I'm sorry, folks. I lied to you. This is why you don't trust people on the internet, all right? It's filled with liars. 
Also, fun fact, not Minecart Carnage, Bouncy Bonanza was the first level that gave me a lot of trouble in my initial playthrough of this game. I didn't like Bouncy. I also didn't like Winky the Frog. Still don't. Also, this cave is a lot darker in this version. Oh! Hi. Alright, uh, Diddy Kong's just going through the crawl space. Hope you don't mind. I at least admire this level for being like, we need a theme. Bouncing. Um, why was there a glowy thing up there for like a little second? <laughs> I get that reference. <laughs> That quote proves that Arthur still was good, even after it went downhill. Even though I think that quote came from, like, season 11 or something, so still, like, less than halfway through the show's... Uh, oh, no! My frog! Oh, sweet. My frog is safe. I'm surprised how often I've been able to spell... F uh, I almost said frog. Colin on, the on these levels. No! My frog! You'll pay for this. Now I gotta use a tire instead. Boing! <laughs> well, you heard it here first, folks. Proxima has personally read everything on the internet and ver verifies most of it. <laughs> okay, I believe you. Alright, man, we're cruising for this game. This is why I like playing games I've already played before more than blind Let's Plays. Wait, I missed a bonus barrel on this level. Oh, that's right. Of course I did. I'm pretty sure it's literally just... Oh. Oh, no. So you don't destroy the vine barrel at the beginning. You gotta carry it for a bit. Oh, there's another vine barrel. Whoops. That's right, it's down here. Forgot about that. Couldn't even get the banana. Sorry, Diddy. Thankfully, we don't need to beat bonus barrels in order for the game to register that we collected them. There we go, there's that exclamation point. Oh, yes! Stop Ghost Station, my number two favorite uh, level in the game. I love this level. <laughs> hit the hit the stop barrels, or else you're in for a deadly surprise from these rock crocs. Also, fun challenge: beat the level without hitting any stop barrels. It is possible. Difficult, but possible, and actually a fun challenge. Oh wow! I didn't realize to change the way the barrels look in these levels. That's cool. And we don't need those bananas. It's fine. It's fine. DK can just live without the banana horde for a bit. Man, some of these secrets are well hidden. Obvious answer is obvious. Boing! <gasps> oh, I love Diddy's roll jump! Or cartwheel jump. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, the completion percentage you fought was how many bananas you got. That would be an interesting way of doing things. No, I don't need candy. I don't need funky. Let's go to Millstone Mayhem. Yes, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this level. This is a fun one. Also, first introduction to the crushes. You need DK or a barrel to kill them. Hey, bouncy boy. It's such a shame there were only two temple levels in the, uh, this game. I really like the temple tile set. 
No, my tire! Oh no, my tire disappeared entirely. Get it? <laughs> Not funny. It's okay, we can damage boost. <laughs> Rare. No, I don't want an Ungard token. Oh boy! You spelled rare and got a, a swordfish token. <laughs> oh yeah, Ramby does kind of pant like a dog in this game. I forgot about that. Excuse me, sirs. I don't want to hit you with this TNT barrel. All too easy. <laughs> yeah, you know how to see with your eyes! Plays, plays fanfare jingle. <sighs> jingle frogs, jingle frogs, let's go and get all the frogs. Yep, red balloons give one life, green give two, blue give three. Well, we're not getting the animal buddy on this level. Ow. Sorry, Ramby. The tire went just a little too far. No, but DK was in the barrel! <laughs> Darn it. Hey, Xander, welcome to the stream. It's okay, guys. This means we can get Ramby this time. Oh no! Temple Tempest is where you get Rammy, and here we just get a frog. There we go. A blip! Thank goodness we got Winky the Frog. Oh, we can jump on the nuts! Sorry, Winky. You, you served your purpose. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's a fun level. What's Cranky doing so far into Monkey Mines? He was, like, right after Winky's walkway, in my opinion. Alright, here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. Are you guys ready? <laughs> this is my favorite way to get lives. <laughs> and the counter freezes at 99, but we actually have more than 99. We can't do this forever. Eventually, we will just take the damage, but we can always start select to go out. All right. <laughs> Crush is like, <laughs> you found the extra life glitch. <laughs> well, well, didn't expect to see you today. A leap of faith is all it takes to find Winky in Barrel Cannon Canyon. Bounce on the fixed tires and hurt to hurdle obstacles and reach bonuses. I could tell you yarns about the old days all day long. Thanks, Cranky. You're the best character. All right, Necky's nuts. Let's go. I think this fight was largely unchanged between the, the versions. Yes. So it's supposed to be like, oh, hey, you jumped on like five or six Kremlings in a row without touching the ground. Here, but you get a one up. Oh, you change it, change it into another one? Here's another one up. But it's easily exploitable. All right. Neki's no joke. I should probably stop hanging out on the tire unless I need to use it. Yeah, that's a much better strategy.
Boom! <laughs> All right, that's monkey. Wait, did I not get the exclamation point of monkey? Oh, wait, no, it doesn't appear on the world map, that's why. Time for Vine Valley, one of the tougher worlds in the game, I would say. Vulture culture. I didn't know the vultures had a culture. Shows what I know. I think almost everybody got stuck in uh, Vine Valley on their first playthrough. It's a pretty tough world. <clears throat> Can I push this to the right, please? Nope. Fine. Push you off a cliff and then push you to the right. Be that way. <laughs> K-O-N-G! That spells calm. Yes, you know how to spell. Yes, you really, really do. Yes, you really know how to spell. I love how excited DK gets that you actually know how to spell a simple four-letter word. It's like, wow, you're so good. Oh, good. Now we can play as Diddy again. Whoops. <laughs> Yay, now we can play as Diddy. <laughs> then Diddy instantly blasts himself off a cliff. Um, I can't remember if comboing in the sequels give you lives or not. I don't remember. Which probably means that you can't. There's also not as many combo opportunities in the sequels. Ow! So the the barrel didn't destroy the nut. Apparently, if you push B while in a barrel cannon, it actually will launch you. I thought you had to push the jump button. I told you guys, Vine Valley, it's a step up in difficulty, as it should be. At least we don't have to worry about the Queen Bee in this version, though. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Darn, why does the barrel not destroy the nut as well? <laughs> it, sorry, this is where my GBA muscle memory is costing me lives, because in the GBA version, it does destroy the nut. I like how I like all the detail of the background in the foreground. There we go. I remembered to jump this time. There we go. Oh, this is the one where you have to jump on the claptrap's heads to get to bananas. How many bananas do these guys eat? Ah, well. I always forget there's like three different kinds of bird enemies in this, and they're all annoying for different reasons. Okay, Th this bird enemy really... I was gonna say they're not that annoying. They are when they start moving. See, that time the barrel destroyed the nut. This is a really good secret. I really like that secret. Well hidden, but doable. Yeah! I don't know, I'm still having a blast with the SNES version. Literally, in the case of barrel cannon levels. Ow, no! My Diddy! Oh well, Diddy died. It happens. Oh yes, time for my favorite level in the whole game. Treetop Town! <laughs> Died to the first gopher. 
Shay, Shani! <laughs> Here to ruin your playthrough. I was gonna spell Nung. This level is a treaty. <laughs> I don't know why the camera is so far to the right at this part here. Um, thanks game for uh, letting me jump during the beaver roll. That was cool. Diddy, you take the lead. Oh yeah, it's one of the few songs that's actually radically different between the versions as well. Jumping on that part is weird. Can you please enter the barrel? For crying out loud. You preferred the SNES version of this song? Really? I was about to say, like, <laughs> can we all collectively agree that the GBA version of this song is way better? But appar apparently not. It's so much more upbeat and jammy in the GBA version. Also more fast-paced, which fits with the theme of the barrel cannons on this level. Whoops. Yeah, the timing's a little different than what I'm used to. Still a great level! <laughs> if I miss the N, I can't say the words of N in the... That, I don't think so. <laughs> Whips. <laughs> Too much thought, yeah. I might need those 99 lives we got. Such a great show. There we go. Grab the end. Do, 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 do. Darn it. They're almost all of them. No, no, no. No, no, no! I swear the timing on the GBA version is different at that part. Like, if you jump in right away, you actually make it. Oh no! We lost big foil. <laughs> we lost the giant gorilla. Who's bad at platforming in the platforming game. Haste makes dead, but speed is the reason I like this level so much. <laughs> you could be super fast. Alright. Yeah, that's better. Excuse me! I was holding left! <laughs> really? He, he died to my barrel, though. DK. Dead calm is his name. Barrel's supposed to hit multiple Kremlings, but it can- No! Not again! Why?! Okay, the thing is, you can't see the barrel moving up and down until you enter the barrel cannon. So in a way, it's actually not my fault. Oh, 
Darn it. Just trying to cartwheel. There we go. That was not a first try like I was hoping for. Time for Forest Frenzy! Oh, I hate these Kremlings. I always see them walking towards me. Thanks for grabbing onto the vine, Donkey Kong. That was cool. I always see these Kremlings and I'm like, oh, I should jump on their heads and then they jump into me and I take damage. Also... Oh, I can think- I can think of- <laughs> It might have a mean bonus barrel, but it's not Oil Drum Alley mean. Oil Drum Alley definitely has the m m most evilly placed bonus barrel in the whole game. No, I did, I did not want to get the token to do that level again, even though it's still my favorite level. Although in the SNES version, I think Stop and Go Station is my favorite level. They really perfected Treetop Town in the uh, in the GBA one. Okay, one of these. There is a bonus barrel at the bottom of one of these areas. Can't remember exactly where it was, but like there's one part where you have to drop off the vine, like towards the ah. Oh. Yay! Oh, it's around here. I remember. Yep, down there. Haha. <laughs> You can always see it a little bit. It's not like, oh, you just have to drop there. If, if it was literally just, oh, you just have to drop there, that would be really dumb. Yeah, background's amazing on the forest levels. Oh. Or, or are you thinking of this part? If you know you can drop the barrels, it really helps with this. I actually really like that one. That one's kind of fun. Even though, yes, uh, you can despawn the barrel and you that's your one and only chance. No, not the Ungard token. I don't want the Ungard token. And there we go. Forest Frenzy. <laughs> we might beat the game in one stream. Maybe. Temple Tempest, here we go. I don't know what you're talking about, Diddy Suicide trick for tanked up trouble, but... Oh no, I thought that was a bonus barrel. They're like, haha, you're so close to getting the Ramby bonus. I don't want the Ramby bonus! <laughs> Oh shoot, I already messed up. I already messed up. There's a bonus barrel. Also, I forgot Temple Tempest is right after Forest Frenzy here. They shuffled the level order around in the GBA version as well. Normally I'd be playing a Rainatane game now. Oh boy, Espresso. Espresso is kind of a lame animal buddy, if I'm being real. I also can't remember which version of the game she can run through in. It's not this version, alright. Pretty sure GBA version she can run through gophers and clap traps and small enemies like that. Well, that's okay. As far as I remember, Espresso is not needed for any bonus barrels.
Eh, I'll just take the L. She can still run over Claptra- okay. Oh no, I missed the K somewhere along the way. One of these- Oh wait, no, never- I'm- no, I'm stupid. I'm like, I thought Rambi was on one of these temple levels. No! You can get Rambi on one of the temple levels, but that requires you using a glitch. On! Oh, it is on like Donkey Kong. I guess we'll save, just in case, like, the emulator crashes or something. Can I help you monkeys save your game? Sure, candy. Now it's time for a rain attain gain. This also has one of the most evil bonus barrels in the whole game. <laughs> oh, dude, I didn't know you could pick the steel keg back up while you were riding it. And I love the transition to sunset. This level has five or six bonus barrels on it, by the way. It's an insane amount. Okay, we're gonna get the checkpoint barrel. So how do you get the first check? How do you get the first bonus barrel? Oh, you know, it's nothing too big. You know, you just have to take this ostrich back to the very beginning of the level after you reach the halfway point. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy. You know. How, how in the world would you not get that? So stupid. No, I don't want the Ungar token. Hey, okay. notice you—you you don't have a whole lot of Ungar tokens. Uh, want to fix that? <laughs> ah, hi, Monkey Kong. Thanks for cartwheeling, Diddy. I appreciate it. Every time you think you got all the bonus barrels on a Rainatang gain, surprise, there is one more. No, see, see, that's what I remember. SNES version, you can't run through the, uh... Can't run through the, uh, clap traps of Expresso. So Expresso is just really, really, really bad in this game. I glided onto him. If I'm in the air but hit him, why would I be able to run through him if I'm on the ground? But you are cor wow, that actually is wow. Here we go. You want bonuses galore? Here you go. Take some bananas and a DK buddy barrel. That's where the end normally is. All right. I hate those critter. Hey, you were gonna jump on my head, psych! I'll jump into your head. Yeah. Even Winky can jump on the guy's heads. I am the king. The O is a pain in the butt to get, so I didn't get it. Alright, you stupid Mankey Kong! Ook, ook, no bonus barrel for you! <laughs> Thanks, DK. If that were Diddy, I would have gotten the jump. <laughs> Still have two bonus barrels left, by the way. And they're both at the end. 
Hey, I can't help but notice that you didn't pick up Espresso this time around. Well, what's the deal? Don't you like animal buddies? Isn't Espresso the greatest animal buddy since... <laughs> since Quacks and Perry the Parallel Bird? Of all the animal buddies in the DK Country Trilogy, Quacks is by far the dumbest. <laughs> Not Squawks, Quacks. No! Diddy! You dumb butt! Wait, what? I thought that was a, a bonus. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Yeah, that's so mean. It's like, oh, you gotta fall down the pit and there's another bonus barrel down there. But only if you have the, uh, the barrel in hand. Yeah. Great level. I actually don't mind this level when it comes to just playing for it casually. But finding all the bonus barrels is really stupid. But again, still not as bad as Oil Drum Alley. Oil Drum Alley is just inexcusable what they do. <laughs> Alright, take that redneck calm. <laughs> some of the some of the bonus barrel placement is definitely sus. No question. No, 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 I need the barrel! Alright, Mankey Calm. Then you're throwing the barrel to the left this time. Hey, turn around! Ah! I actually can't I actually can't remember if Mankey Calm's barrels can even open the bonus rooms. Cannon's barrels from two can. So can the bazookas from three. I don't want it. I'm dead. <laughs> the look on Mankey Cone's face when you killed him. Oh, I forgot. Priceless. No! Did he? There we go. That's the last one. Do, 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 do. It's Expresso again. Hey, don't you know that you can ride Expresso to get a one up balloon? There we go. That's all five of them. Hooray. Uh, my favorite Mario game is Mario 64. I ain't got nothing left, so don't even ask. In Jungle High Drink, stick to the treetops to earn extra lives. Xenor sports bikes on their backs. You can't jump on them unless you're riding Winky. You can't say I, I can't say I expect you to see you again, but I might, you might get lucky, I guess. Unless we're counting the, the spin-off Mario games, in which case Paper Mario. Paper Mario is the best. It's always yeah. It's kind of weird that we finish with Clam City. This doesn't really fit with the Vine Valley feel, but all right. Time for everyone's favorite aquatic ambiance again. It is beautiful. And I like the dark blue watercolor. It's a very, it's a very, very nice aesthetic. I'm definitely not salty that Aquatic Ambiance won the poll for best underwater music. I mean, come on, Lockjaw Saga exists, people. Hey, Chomp! <laughs> Look at all these ch Chomps Juniors around. Just like, hey, uh, which way to the Red Lobster? I love those big, those cheddar biscuits. I'm lactose intolerant and I still like them. <laughs> and here's all the full grown Chomps. DK has no problem swimming right next to these giant sharks. He's just like, yeah, it's just another day in the life of being Donkey Kong. I don't want Winky Token. Doo -doo -doo.
All right. It's risky, but we're gunning for it. And there we go. Clam City. Time for Bumblebee Rumble. Way easier in this version. It's just like, oh, just dodge the bee. You'll be fine. GBA version, it's like, hey, destroy all of these mini Xenor armies while the bee's trying to grab you. Oh yeah, and if you're Diddy Kong, you just can't hit these bees. <laughs> Easy peasy. Yeah. All right, off to Gorilla Glacier. Snow Barrel Blast, which apparently some people think is the hardest level in the game. Uh, no. It's definitely difficult, no doubt about that. Hardest level in the game, not even close. I might put it in the top five, though. Poison Pond is annoying. I would say the two toughest levels are definitely Tanked Up Trouble and Platform Perils. Like, no question. And again, this is another one of those... Excuse me. Thank you. I was going too fast, apparently. This is another one of those levels that I made a lot more difficult in my, uh, small hacking project, so... This should probably be a, brush for, a breath of fresh air. Or my muscle memory is going to be screwed up, in which case I'll be like, oh, what? Besides, this level has amazing music, so... Good music can hide a multitude of sins. It's just a fact. Hey! Honestly, it's the fast-moving neckies that are the real problem in this level. There we go, we're already at the checkpoint. And we have to blast to the bonus room just before we get to the really epic part of the song. Also, I'm pretty sure if we get the, uh... If we take the shortcut skip, we actually miss out on some stuff. I wouldn't say I love the snow levels in the game. Like, they're both kind of annoying. But they're not as bad as Tanked Up Trouble. Then again, I still have a bad taste in my mouth of Tanked Up Trouble because of, um... my first playthrough of the game. Also, this part's just kind of evil. I remember there's the secret platform there. Because I'm pretty sure when I remade the level, I made it so that you had to take that way. Like, you didn't blast over it. Actually, I think I still have that, the ROM, around. Whoops. I think I still have the ROM somewhere. I could upload videos of the levels. It would take me ages to beat them, though. I think the only levels that I actually changed... The only levels that I actually finished were, um... Winky's Walkway, Minecart Carnage, Stop and Ghost Station, Snow Barrel Blast, and I th think... Platform Perils were the only ones that I actually f truly finished. Where's my buddy barrels? No! Duck on it! <laughs> it's too early again. Nah, nah, nah. 
There we go. And there we go. But yes, if you don't do the skip, the last part is uh, pretty tough. Slip slide ride. It's the one of a kind level. This is the only ice cave level in the game, which is kind of weird. Like, it's a gorgeous tile set, but they only used it one time. Ooh! I wanted to spell ooh. DK doesn't like that. He's like, if you don't spell calm, then I'm just completely unimpressed. Also, it doesn't make any sense to me why you slide upwards on these ropes. Like, I get the ropes that make you slide down. Like, that makes perfect sense. Why do you slide up? Okay, if you spell Nintendo, I'm okay with that as well. <laughs> oh yeah, Snow Barrel Blast, the blizzard effects are really good. Even if they only serve to annoy the player by making it harder to see and concentrate. Left side ride is such a good level. Makes me a little sad the snow, the ice cave tile set only got used one time. It's kind of similar to the iceberg tile set from DK Country 2, but it's not exactly the same. Oh, whoops. No. No, but I need the bouncy Kremlin. All right. Well, there we go. No, 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 no! I don't want. To. Oh, you know, whatever. We're close enough to the checkpoint barrel. Okay, let's see if I can max out my score here. That's true, it is. Welcome to GBA Donkey Kong Country. Okay, we're not maxing out our score. Still though, 700 is pretty good. I think the GBA version, there are more tokens on top, so when you fly over on the top, you grab more. Still though, an impressive amount of extra- wait! What? It didn't? Oh, it's because is it because I got him in the bonus barrel? Oh, whoops. It didn't boot me back to the checkpoint. Although I got booted back to the checkpoint regardless. <laughs> it's SNES, not sneeze. Haha. <laughs> Hi toy collector. Boing. Oh man, all that was was an on guard token? I forgot about that. Bro, you grabbed onto the rope. Why did you grab off of it? Come on, man. <laughs> so, did you know that in, it, blue ropes will make you slip up? True story. Donkey Kong Country taught me that. 
and mom said games weren't educational. Well, do you want to do a ridiculously stupid amount of timing to get that? Or do you just want a damage boost through it? <laughs> I pick damage boost. Oh, oh. Et voila! And that's Slip Slide Ride. A very fun level. Oh yeah, now we get Ice Age Alley. They swap the levels in this, uh... Always forget... Hi! Ice physics. <laughs> oh, your screen reader pronounces SNES as sneeze. We're not playing the sneeze version. Although the SNES version is nothing to sneeze at. The graphics are impressive. Well, yep, that lasted about as long as I expected. And I'm pretty sure for this level you need to carry Espresso for a large amount of it. Oh, fun fact, this is a level... As a kid, I could not find the N on this level. No matter how hard I tried, I could not find the N. I literally had to use... And, like, I found a, the Donkey Kong Country strategy guide, like, the Prima strategy guide Nintendo made in Target one time, and I'm like, <gasps> I, like, flip to the page, I'm like, wait, it's in the, it's in, like, a platform in midair? How do you get there? It's like, oh, you need Espresso. You need to escort Espresso through this death trap for half the level over all these dangerous obstacles, which no sane person would really ever do. And then it's like, you get the end. And maybe a bonus barrel? I don't remember. <laughs> to get a piece of life. Okay, we're not going in the middle this time, because I don't want more- No! I don't want a that! I don't want an ostrich token. I will take an ostrich, though. I like how on this level, like, it starts out in the middle of a blizzard. I express so! It was a tiny bird, and you're like, oh my gosh, tiny bird, I gotta leave! It's like you're the biggest bird ever. Ah, well. I think that's just to get the end and not a bonus barrel as well, but I could be wrong. If I am wrong, it's gonna be a long walk back. Ookie ook, I'm Minky Kong! See, in the, in the GBA version, the rope is on a different cycle, so it lines up that you can just bounce from one to the other instead of having to wait. Who wants to wait in a platforming game? Hey! And the rope was off cycle that time. But are these on a, like, a level timer or a global timer? Stupid rope? Why would they make it so you would have to wait there? That's so dumb. I want to go fast. Are you kidding me? Stupid ropes! <laughs> okay. It's agony to wait there. Yeah, that platform up there, that's where the end is. Darn it, there is a flippin' bonus barrel up there! Alright, well, let's finish the level. <laughs> Gee! That's all you got! Pretty sure I got the K as well. Uh, 
Alright. Well, I will go back to grab that bonus barrel. Well, that's what I am. I'm a G. So. I'll take it. G. Gangster. Calm. Or gangsta. Calm. Hey, I bet that bet. No, I don't want the ostrich bonus. These barrel cans are real hard to time. Oh, what do you mean? I can't even leave. I'm being held hostage in the ostrich bonus. Hostage by an ostrich. That's gonna be my indie band's hit single. Man. I'm not saying the bonus room blitz is bad on the SNES version, but the GBA version uses the monkey drum, so it's great. Instead of like the. It's like. It's just, a, it's just a bit funkier. No, I gotta go back. There's an ostrich in there. Not an ostrich token. No! Fine. I'll get the ostrich at the beginning of the level. And we'll have to baby it to safety. Man, if you just if you don't know the obstacles that are coming in advance, like you're never getting for this level of espresso. And honestly, even if you do know, it's still no picnic. All right, well, we can't mess up now. Are you kidding me? This is what I mean. Espresso sucks. Even the enemies that it's supposed to be able to walk through, it can't walk through. By the way, hi Rich, welcome to the stream. I'm hoping if I go to another level and beat it, it'll forget I got the checkpoint on Ice Age Alley. Because I can't backtrack to get Espresso now. Also, yeah, this is Croctopus Chase. This is another pain in the butt level if you don't know how to run. Or fast swim in this case. That's what I'm saying, the, the no running challenge is going to be an interesting one when I eventually do it. It literally took me till Donkey Kong Country 2 Hothead Hop, where you literally need to know how to run in order to beat it. You literally can't beat the level if you don't. And I'm just like, how do you beat this? And everyone's just like, use the crockheads to leap over this gap. I'm like, you don't have enough height! Because apparently you need to be running in order to get enough height off the crockheads. Man, it's amazing how much the graphics hold up in this game. Still gorgeous. Hey, no worries. Ow! I got bit by a shark. Time for caboose. It says Croctopus Chase. Not Caboose Chase. Caboose Chase is a different level. Look, six-year-old me still didn't have a great grasp of phonics, so... 
I was like, what the heck is that word? Croctopus, that's not a weird, real word. Okay, watch out for Kenny the shark. He's looking for a midnight snack. <laughs> More Donkey Kong. More bananas! I mean, hey, D Donkey Kong is an amazing series. Also, I should play the most criminally underrated Donkey Kong game on stream, Jungle Beat. Jungle Beat's seriously one of the best Donkey Kong games, and nobody talks about it. It's like it's a 2D platformer game with a combo system that's played on the drums. It's like, that sounds terrible. It's like, it does sound terrible, but it's amazing. <laughs> Swordfish beats Shark. Don't think that's accurate to the real world, but it's Donkey Kong. They took some uh, creative liberties. And I'm so glad that they did. I'm the Keen. Aw, oh, yeah. Good job, Diddy. Okay. So, have we- has it forgotten that we got the checkpoint in Ice Age Alley? Darn it! We're gonna have to game over, aren't we? It's also very dumb that you can't ignore the checkpoint barrel. Like, you have to grab it. What if I don't want to grab it? And we literally died right before the, uh, okay, that's a terrible camera. We're in it to win it for the 100% now. I don't like how it's Donkey Kong at the end here, but... Oh, no, we made it. We made it. Hey, Mobius, how's it going? We're just trying to get this one stupid bonus barrel in Ice Age Alley by escorting a extremely bad ostrich through a snowstorm. Thanks for jumping, game! Man, it feels like the ice physics override the jump functionality for a lot of this. Alright, here we go, Espresso. Don't suck this time. I know it's a big ask, but... It does... No, alright, well... <laughs> I, st I still have no idea if a Jungle Beat stream would even be feasible, because... For one, that would be a weird stream setup if I have to play the drums while playing it. But also, I'm like, would you guys even be able to hear anything over a, that's just a constant... <laughs> or is that just what people sign up for when they watch Jungle Beat? It's probably the latter, honestly. I hate this stupid bird. Ugh. I was saying that to both the Mini Neki and Espresso. <laughs> That was a close shave, Gromit. Okay. It's this part again. Alright. There we go. Geronimo! Here we are. There's that last stupid bonus barrel. Oh, whoops. This music's very un ish Not really! This is, this is definitely, uh, DK Country music. DK Country has a lot of atmospheric songs. Time for Cranky's Cabin. Hey, you're lucky you caught me. I was just heading out. The crafty croctopus corners his crock of collectibles and coral capers. Steel ringed barrels break only when they hit the wall. There's nothing more I can tell you. Thanks, Cranky. Enlightening as always. Ooh, Torchlight Trouble. This is normally the last level in the world. Oh, I think I might have also completed Torchlight Trouble in my hack, where the only change I made was I just removed the Squawks box. <laughs> that was literally the only change. I'm like, you can do it in the dark. Shoo! Oh no, I can't believe you failed at hitting barrels. Diddy's just like 
judgmentally staring at DK in the dark. Like, DK, I knew you'd mess this up. This is why you weren't a playable character in your own sequel. Man, this game's awesome. Second one is good, but very... Oh, you haven't played the second Donkey Kong? Oh, you need to, Eddie. It's, like, pretty much universally considered the best Donkey Kong Country and one of the best 2D platformers of all time. It's really, really, really good. But yes, it is very difficult. It's also more gimmicky than the first Donkey Kong Country. I'm not sure I would go that far, but I would say it's my it's the best 2D platformer. Let's save. Let's save. It's a safe bet. Would you like a quick spin in my save barrel? Yeah, sure, Candy. Let's go. I'm probably not... We'll, we can talk Season 6 of Backyard Baseball when Season 6 of Backyard Baseball begins. Alright, time for Rope Bridge Rumble! Another one of my favorite levels, and definitely not just because it's the same tile set as Treetop Town. Boin? And guess what, on a this bouncy level, who do we get? Why, of course, we get the bouncing man, Winky the Frog. I will stay warm in my bed. I do appreciate that the each animal buddy kind of gets a lot of levels to themselves, even if half the animal buddies kind of suck in this game. Look, sorry, Wink. Like that! Winky, Winky could just be like, oh, I can't jump if I'm in the middle of my walking jump animation. And again, that's, an that's another thing that the GBA version improved. Winky's, like, hopping when you move with him is literally just his animation cycle, not actually individual mini jumps, so you can jump in the middle of his hops. It's a great change. <laughs> and I love how this stream literally is just, like, me constantly comparing this version to the GBA version. <laughs> What I'm basically saying is, people need to give the GBA version a chance. It's really good. Like, seriously, if you could slap the SNES graphics into the GBA, like, everything else, pretty much, th that's pretty much the perfect game right there. I'll take a couple of the SNES songs over the GBA songs as well. I'll be fair. <laughs> oh, I forgot you can land on the platform, but not on the tire here. That's, that's a little obnoxious. Oh wow, just bonus barrel right there. <laughs> I wanted the animal to- No you didn't, Donkey Kong. You really didn't, okay? <laughs> I know it's shiny, but it's just gonna ruin your progress. Oh wow, that armadillo has just lost its will to live, apparently. Wow, how did I have less trouble on that level than Treetop Town? Alright folks, it's time for Really Naughty's Rampage. They swapped the they swapped the naughty colors in in the GBA version as well. In the GBA one, the brown beaver is the first naughty, and the blue one is the second. <laughs> also, it's weird that he doesn't make the ceiling fall. <laughs> bye bye. Still not that bad. Big boy beaver is down. Time to go to Creme Croc Industries Incorporated. Oil Drum Alley! One of my favorite levels. It used to be one of my least favorite levels. It has very much grown on me. It's a very well done, difficult level. It's just fantastic. But it does have the most evil bonus barrel in the entire game. I believe it's this one. Yeah, this one is just so stupid. Oh, I already failed. Okay, well, we gotta try that one again. Oh no, we can't. Oh yes, we can't. No, we can't!
That's okay. We can always come back after beating the level. It's perfectly all right. Also, the music for this for the factory levels is incredible. Fear Factory is just really, really great. They really nailed the whole industrial sound. Also, hi, Rambi. It's been a while since we've seen you. Wait, why? Why was that already broken? Oh, that well, that worked out. Never ask a woman her age and a man how many arty bucks he has. Ow. Rude Mankey Kong. This part gave me so much trouble as a child. Because again, I was bad at waiting. K-O-N-G Kong! But where's the last bonus barrel? If you can get actual money off of Artie Bucks in the black market, then you you deserve them. Also, we really, really want to have Diddy Kong. Yes. Okay. So in this room, whatever is on the barrels that you line up gives you that prize, right? Well, um, not quite, actually. If you line up three bananas... For literally no reason, it gives you a barrel, even though that's not what was displayed, and it's the only cut time in the game you does that. And then there's another bonus barrel in here. It's the dumbest thing. How would anybody ever get that? Nobody's gonna line up free regular bananas either. If it was like the free one-ups, maybe, because at least people would be much more likely to line that up to get the best prize. But why? Oh. We can't spell Kong. Diddy freaks out. I know I did it on the GBA version. I know all the secrets in the game. It's still stupid. You got it on your own? Really? That's impressive. Oh, it's Trick Track Trick. In a way, I like this level. In a way, I don't. It is kind of an auto scorer, but... It's, it's an auto-score that I can forgive, because it's not like, oh, the screen killed you. It's it's just, oh, hey, yeah, you have to ride this platform for the level. <laughs> Thanks, Donkey Kong. Like, you can actually go farther ahead at certain parts, which is nice. And it's not like, oh, no, the screen doesn't let you go farther ahead. Didn't get the O. It's okay. DK's just kind of hovering below the platform as he does. Oh, wait, no. Hang on. I remember this. That's another evil bonus barrel. <laughs> do, 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 do. I can't believe we're in. And we just failed the bonus barrel, but it still counts. We got it anyway. Oh man, I love the background on the mine levels, though. Like the dark, ominous, like, guys carrying the torches back. Oh, so good! Way better, way better in this. The GBA version, for some reason, is dark. GBA didn't do dark graphics very well. So for this part, it literally was just like, oh, let's make it pink. It, it's the same thing, right? Pfft. 
Rich. We don't swear in my uh, in my channel. Yeah. Please don't swear in chat. It's especially annoying to edit out. Alright, so now this time we gotta make sure we actually do the roll jump here. Yes, that's that's what we're looking for. Oh yeah, I forgot about the jumping clap traps that they actually appear on this level. Is it still on the restream? Oh, what the heck? Why is it still on the restream? <laughs> hey on, I hey on. I got I got this, folks. I got this. <laughs> And et voila. There's gonna there's gonna be an ugly black box there for a little bit, but that's okay. That's over the <laughs> Yes, Eddie, literally everyone can see that. Alright, I think the, I think there's just one more bonus barrel and it's at the end, so. Just a smooth sailing. That guy forgot to move. <laughs> K rolls like, alright, now when the cones pass by in this elevator, you need to walk on it. But he was apparently like playing Clash of Clans or something on his phone, and he's like, Oh wait, what? Oh sorry, sorry, boss. Missed it. It's gone it clump. <laughs> this is this is why you're not number two in the army. <laughs> oh, hi, Crusha. See, Crusha is number two in the army. Oh, <laughs> I'm still alive. Oh, I hate this part at the end. No! Winky, you're the worst! <laughs> Try to do winky bonus and redo half the level. <laughs> Stupid. It's just a prank, bro. Derek, this will be great. We can reward somebody at the end of the level by getting them a bunch of one-ups. But won't they have to redo this annoying part of the level again? I missed the part. That's my problem. <laughs> No, Winky bonus is still better than On Guard bonus. Actually, we're about to get a huge stinking amount of extra tokens here. Holy cow, we actually hit 800 on the Winky bonus. My goodness. You know what? Don't worry about it. Is this the beginning of the level? Oh, wait. Well, no, doggone it, because I hit the checkpoint barrel, so I can't even just warp barrel to the end to get the bonus barrel. Did it seriously put me back at the beginning of the level? But no, okay, this is the checkpoint. No, it's not. No, it's not the checkpoint. It literally dropped me, not even to the checkpoint, just the beginning of the level. Oh my god, ouch! Why did the platform stop moving? <laughs> They're like, oh hey, he took damage. Let's stop moving the platform to give to, to let him get his bearings. Oh, but the but this doesn't have GBA DK death screen uh, death death scream. Or when he falls he goes, <laughs> It's it's fantastic. Again, guys, you, you're really missing out if you haven't played the GBA version. Oh, man, it's great. You can collect pictures of the enemies. You can go fishing. You can do an absolutely horrible rhythm-based dance game. Oh, it's it's the best. It's really the best. 
That clump still doesn't have his life act together. I like how the bees are color coded in the first Donkey Kong Country game to to what how they're gonna move. It's like the pink ones go in circles. The green ones go in arcs, the red ones just kinda hover back and forth. <gasps> Stupid Crusher! He was actually he was on like a treadmill for a second there. Alright. This time we're not going to get no stinking winky token. We almost did. There we go. Did I ever see the cartoon? Um, I saw the theme song. And a couple of the songs. There's one song about, like, K. Rool rapping to try and cha exchange Diddy's life for a single crystal coconut. And DK's, like, agonizing over whether he should do it or not. And I'm just like, bruh, with friends like these, DK. Like, it's like, alright, DK, here's the thing. You can either, like, give me just one. You got two of them. Just one of your two crystal coconuts or uh, Diddy will die. And DK's like, I, I don't know. It's like, really, DK? <laughs> really? <laughs> Seem kind of like a bad friend. <laughs> I... It's like Ord in Dragon Tales, where it's like, all right, Ord, you either can, like, share your Dragonberry Cupcake, which is, like, the size of you with me, or you will stay in this place for literally all eternity, and all your friends will, too. He's like, um, can I get, like, a day to think about it? It's like, are you kidding me, Ord? <laughs> I don't know, Kingdom Come seems kind of cool. There's, there is literally an episode of Dragon Tales where Ord gets sent to Kingdom Come so he doesn't have to share his stuff with his friends. <laughs> then realizes what Kingdom Come actually means. It's great. <laughs> it's great. I've brought it up on, on stream before, but it deserves it deserves another mention. Also, am I the only one who thought Elevator Antics was like a really hard level? And nobody talks about it. When it's, a, when it's, like, hardest level in Donkey Kong Country 1, everyone's like, Oh, it's Snow Barrel Blast. Oh, it's, uh, it's Tanked Up Trouble. Nobody mentions, oh, it's Blackout Basement. Nobody ever mentions Elevator Antics. And I actually think this might be the hardest level in Creme Croc. Ouch. Ooh! Especially if you play this level on hero mode. Where you only have Diddy and no checkpoint. The end part where there are all the clumps. Oof. Darn you! I feel like I don't mention pe hear people mention platform perils. I think people generally consider like, yeah, it's challenging, but like the hardest stage in the game. I don't know. Nom, nom, nom. It's like how nobody ever mentions the Bramble levels when talking about bad DK Country levels. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, the Bramble levels are so amazing. I'm like, those are literally the worst levels in DK Country 2. Like, by a mile. <laughs> Bramble Blast actually might be my least favorite level in the whole trilogy. Oh wow, that bonus room is way better hidden in this version. GBA version, you can, like, see it and everything. Yay, we got the O, but not the stupid ostrich token. Oh, and Checkpoint City! Okay, I think the N is hiding down here at one... Yeah, there it is. I remember that! And I remember, I remember where the last bonus barrel is. It's at the end, so... Thank goodness I have so much practice on hero mode to get through this... these clumps. <gasps> Boom! Ha ha! Parkour! Oops. Hope you didn't go to the exit, because there's a bonus level there. 
Bramble Scramble was also bad, but it wasn't nearly as bad as Bramble Blast. Bramble Blast. <laughs> like, low-key, there's... I love Donkey Kong Country 2, but the, every time I, like, start a new playthrough, there's a small handful of levels where I'm just like, ah, oh, but if I play for the game again, I have to play for that level. Like, hate Bramble... Oh, Poison Pond time. Like, I really hate Bramble Blast. I really hate, um... Pretty much all of Gloomy Gulch, honestly, except the first two levels. But I especially hate Gusty Glade and Web Woods. And my nemesis. My nemesis, Mudhole Marsh. <laughs> it literally should not even be that hard of a level, but every time I play Mudhole Marsh, I lose, like, 30 lives. Because that, that level is, like, specifically engineered to be hard for me and only me. Oh, hi, hi Chomps. Junior. Wait, was On Guard at the start? I definitely want On Guard at the start. Bottom left wall is fake? Oh, of course. Why didn't I just know that? It's not like there was any visual indication there, even in the slightest. Now that I know how to control Squitter, at least GBA Squitter, Web Woods is a lot better and a lot more manageable. It's still super annoying, though. Ah, see ya, Ungard. I can always get you later in the level. Oh no, Piranha Bite! Out! Oh, but rewinding is cheating. It's like I'm not using save states here. Granted, I did use a glitch to get 99 lives, but that's different. <laughs> I'm glad On Guard is invincible, even if he gets hit by a buzzsaw. He always bounces back. And he's so fast. <laughs> Play smart? No, I'll just have On Guard tank the danger. Good boy, On Guard. Oh my gosh, yeah, On Guard is pro. You didn't get the K, you stink. Oh, you stink. Oh, also, I another level nobody talks about, but is really, really bad in Donkey Kong Country 2. Red Hot Ride. My goodness, I hate that level. So you want a you want a, a really slow level where you have to ride hot air balloons over a volcano? It's like, no, too bad. <laughs> Thank goodness there's a warp barrel on that level. Seriously, though, like, yeah, I adore Donkey Kong Country 2. It when it's good, it's really, really, really good. And when it's bad, it is the worst in the series. <laughs> yeah, Red Hot Ride is not really hard. It's just very, very slow. And that's almost... that. Honestly, I think slow is worse than hard. I'll take hard, fast, and exciting over slow and boring, like, almost any day. I'm pretty sure On Guard is over here as well. Ow! At least Castle Crush has really cool graphics and an amazing level psalm. And there are parts where you can go faster than the floor, so I actually give Castle Crush a pass. It is on, like Donkey Kong. On guard, where are you? You didn't despawn, did you? Okay, there's a piranha down here. And buzz saws. Ow, oh! Yeah, this almost not very good. Oh yeah, Castle Crusher. Well, is it longer than Animal Antics? I have a 
have a hard time believing it's longer than Animal Antics. Which is like a six-part level. Longer than Web Woods? Why you no take shortcut? Oh, that's right, I forgot about it. Well, look, it's easier to take in the GBA version, because, you know, there's actually a visual indication that it's there. And not just, like, you don't just... You didn't des You weren't part of the design team for the level? Nice try. On guard still disappear. Oh, come on! Are you kidding? Like... I hate that. <laughs> oh, also... I will... Well, okay, that's that's harsh. I am called to forgive others, but I am... I was about to say I will never forgive. I, that's not true. I am still very upset with Rareware that they gave, like, every animal buddy in Donkey Kong Country 2 their own level, or two, and Rambi only got half of a level to himself. And they had the nerve to call that half a level Rambi Rumble, even though most of the level you're not Rambi. It... Yeah. They put arrows in every- They put arrows there when you're already in! That does not count. <laughs> it's not good design. I honestly thought Bad Bird... Wow. Oh, no, no, I remember. I thought that the Bad Bird rag actually kind of fit that part for Rambi, but yeah, it's kind of weird that they literally made the GBA version of that song, they just didn't put it in for some reason. On. Oh, we're, we're close enough to the end of the level. Yay. Poison Pond is complete. Hey, Cranky. Let's we gotta visit our dad. Well, well, I didn't expect to see you today. A leap of faith is all it takes to find Winky and Barrel. Yeah, I know that. All right, smarty pants, then you can get out of my house. <laughs> minecart Madness. The other minecart level, which is randomly way easier than the first minecart level. Boing. Oh, this level also has some evil bonus barrels, too. Well, bonus barrel, singular, I guess I should say. That was one of the last bonus barrels I found. Jump where there's no bananas. Like, I guess there is the visual indication there, but, like, it's still like, what? You don't recall having trouble? Really? Apparently you can't duck under that necky. Oh, that's weird. That jump is like free normally. I didn't jump far enough back. We'll try that again. Ah, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. That is a tough one. Hey! Okay, I guess I need to jump later then. I still think Rickety Race is the best, and also worst, minecart level in the series. I love it. I love Rickety Race if you play it normally. If you're trying to get the DK coin, it's the worst. But man, the roller coaster minecarts were, were really cool. So, where are the buddy barrels on this level? Ugh! <gasps>
It, it was a cool idea to make it like you gotta beat the first place or to get the DK coin. Like I like that in theory, but man, in in practice, it was it blew. I also I also miss the bonus barrels having the giant B on them instead of being just automatic firing barrel cannons. Too long didn't read. Snus version sucks. No. Not true at all. I love this next version too. Are you gonna visit Funky some? No, I don't need to. Time for Blackout Basement. This is a level people are like, this level's so hard. It's like, it really isn't that hard, actually. Like, the only thing that makes it even somewhat challenging is the fact that the lights flicker on and off. And even then, you can still see when the lights flicker off. They didn't even just change the screen to be, like, pitch black. It was, like, you can still see a little bit. Well, heck, is going to be a pretty dark place, it's true. But seriously, if, if there was no light flickering gimmick, this level would be a joke. And even with it, it's really not that bad. Especially if you, if you have Donkey Kong. There we go. Bonus barrel. Take that, Mankey Kong. And there's the other bonus. Yeah, see? Like that? Okay, this bonus barrel's kind of evil. <laughs> I forgot about this one. I hope the lights are on when it finishes its, uh, little cycle. Otherwise, yeah, like, Blackout Basement, really not that hard. And yet it still is constantly mentioned, like, oh, that level was the worst. It's like, no, no, it wasn't. We beat it! And if you thought that level was dumb, <laughs> boss dumb drum. Guess I'm not doing other stuff tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, the Diddy suicide being in tanked up trouble. I do not promote suicide on my channel. At all. Quite the opposite. But if it's in a video game, it can sometimes help you go faster. Because tanked up trouble only has one bonus barrel, and it's at the very beginning. So if there's a way to skip a huge amount... Eh, no, I still probably don't want to do it. Tanked up trouble might be bad, but it's still part of the game. Uh-oh. This? That just got more difficult. DK died at the worst possible time. <laughs> you know, if they wanted to make this boss really evil, they would throw crushes in at the very end. It's like, oh, do you not have DK alive? Oh, you can't win. <laughs> this is why I am not a level designer. And doggone it, the boss music in DK, DK Country boss music is, uh, fittingly enough, pretty boss. Armadillos are already rolling when they pop out of the dumb drum, eh? Is this like a warp, or is this just, uh... A 
a cool fiend. Chimp Caverns, tanked up troll. Uh, you can't jump back up there. Oh, it's just a little funny, nothing useful. Yeah, you can't... Oh, wait, oh, but maybe... Hang on, maybe Diddy has to be the one to do it. Chimp Caverns is awesome. Uh, that's an interesting opinion. I think it. I think it's the weakest world in the game, but that, maybe that's just me. Oh, you better to find a different ledge later, like the one at the. Okay, okay. Yeah, because you can't jump jump back up here. This gets my vote for definitely hardest level in the game. Well, maybe not definitely, but man, if you want a level that's really hard to do if you can't run. <laughs> Look no further than tanked up trouble. Tanked up trouble, no running allowed. Uh, you literally like have to take damage at certain parts. There's no way around it. Did I miss the bonus barrel? I think the bonus barrel must be at like the very beginning, and I forgot about it. Yeah, I think bonus barrel's right. Yeah. Okay, you can't even see that bonus barrel in the SNES version, so I call foul on that one. Yes, you know how to see. Yes, you really, really do. You can see well with your eyes. <laughs> Back to the beginning of the level for you. <laughs> oh. I see that I have never done that before. I am pretty sure that is not in the GBA version. That's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, we got it. We got to hear DK pound his chest as many times as we possibly can. Let's slow down for no reason. Oh no! I blame the camera on that one. I couldn't see properly. I also blame myself on that one for being bad. This is another pro problem with tanked up trouble. Um, deaths are pretty costly in terms of time. I think the sound of DK pounding his chest is permanently burned into my sister's brain. Because there was one time she was watching me play, and I had to do my laundry. And I didn't pause the game. I literally just left it standing still. And I came back from doing my laundry, and my sister's like, Artie, Donkey Kong has literally been beating his chest going, <laughs> for like, ten solid minutes now. <laughs> Although she might disagree. How the heck are you- by the way, how in the world are you ever supposed to get that on-guard token? Not that I'm complaining. I mean, it's an on-guard token, so it's, it's real bad, but... Oh, man! Did he's like, why were you so stupid that you let time run out? Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Whoops. Mm. 
Man. This, this platform is really poorly managed if it's losing fuel this quickly. Like, the amount of fuel this thing has to guzzle? In this economy? I would not want to be the one at the shell station when I'm trying to fill that, fill that up. Oh wow, one-time use barrel cannon. That's unusual. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, this is the part. Good luck getting through this part if you can't run. You literally cannot get over those bees if you can't run. That part's a lot easier when you know you can duck under the second B. Alright, I don't care about the G. We're blasting off. There we go! Hardest level done. Manic Mincers. The rest of Chimp Caverns is kind of unmemorable till we get to the final level. This is basically Poison Pond, but not underwater. It's the best way I can describe the level, I guess. This is also a level where Rambi really doesn't help out that much, but you gotta keep him alive, because there's some bonus barrels that you can only get with him! It's like, hey, let's give you Rambi on, like, the one level where Rambi wouldn't be helpful. It's like, really? You're that- you're that much of a butt? There's just one thing Rambi can't destroy. Okay, we're waiting for the beaver this time. And this one. Not falling for the same trap in two different places. Maybe we actually didn't need Rambi. Hey, get back here, Rambi! No, I need you. No, I need you. There we go. Actually, we might... Well, you need Rambi in the GBA version, because this is, like, the only level where you can get one of... Oh, okay. There we go. Let's just take the L. Let's go. Ow! Oh no! Sorry, Donkey Kong, but you're also... You're kind of hard to jump with. <laughs> Just a little bit. Man, Cave Dweller Concert is a real good song, though. Uh, oh! I did not know TNT barrels would blow up if you held on to them for too long. Genuinely did not know that. Please tell me there's another... There, there's not another barrel. Cool. Awesome, thanks. So if you put the if you drop the TNT barrel too many times, it actually blows up. That I literally never knew that. Or rather if you set them down for too long. Regardless, I thought TNT barrels could not blow up unless you throw them at the wall. Blah. Oh, I thought that had a bonus room in it. I know you don't have to take the barrel this far, but I'm doing it anyways. Hi. 
Oh wait, there's... Well, I feel sheepish! <laughs> you died, but we decided to let you make it through anyways. Let's try that again. See, th those mincers are moving a little too fast for my liking. I'm the calm! Okay. Sweet! You know, this seems like a bit of a downgrade from the Blackout Basement find the one-up. In terms of difficulty. Oh, this time there's a stalag- there's a column in the foreground. It's like, yeah, but it's not blocking any of the barrels. Ooh. Like, if it was blocking the second barrel, that would be one thing. Good job. Misty Mine, the most forgettable level in the whole game, if you ask me. This is also a level where, for the longest time, I could not find any of the bonus barrels or any of the column letters on this level. And that's because they did a sneaky on this level, and they put all of the column letters in one of the bonus barrels. Actually, no, that's that's wrong. I found the I found the bonus barrel that required a TNT barrel. This is probably the most mediocre level in Donkey Kong Country. It's not like horrible, but it's just not very good. That's true. There's a lot of combo potential on this level. I will give it that. But also, not as much combo potential as Millstone Mayhem, so... If I want to get one-ups, I'm going to Millstone Mayhem. Get back here, Donkey Kong. It's your country. That was not one of the spots with the bonus rooms. But I had a barrel in front of me! This is why I can't race Donkey Kong Country. Like, I'm pretty good at the game, but not that good. You want the Rambi bonus? No. Let's see if we can get through the game without getting the Rambi bonus. <laughs> Apparently regular barrels can destroy those as well. Huh. I thought for sure that was the place. Hey, you, don't you don't you want the golden rhinoceros token? I can see you have two of them already. Oh, did he? Count on you, buddy. That Donkey Kong's never gonna trade the coconut for your life. Oh, that's right. That's this is the one. Oh boy! You want Espresso on another level? Well, do ya, do ya, do ya. Not really. No. I needed that. But I needed that. There's gotta be another barrel around here somewhere. Why, there are TNT barrels everywhere on this level, and now all of a sudden you decide you don't want them anymore? Fine. <laughs> Gone off it, Diddy Kong! So we 
need to be very careful while escorting this TNT barrel. For that part. There we go. Diddy's like, are you even trying for these games? <laughs> I'm intentionally trying to lose, Diddy. What a lack wit. Ow. Will we finish the game before that extra life counter reaches below 99? It could happen. They didn't give me a one-up? Well, that was a fail. No! So much for iframes! Wow, it felt like I had half the iframes that you normally do. Um, are you- are you kidding me, Donkey Kong? You didn't grab the vine? The rope that was literally right there? That you absolutely 100% touched the hitbox for? Well, you didn't jump! So what?! <laughs> My gosh, Donkey Kong is such trash at his own game. There's a reason why Diddy Kong got the sequel all to himself. Are you serious? This isn't even a hard level, by the way. This is supposed to be like a breaver level. This is literally supposed to be the breaver level for the world. I'm surprised there aren't barrels that shoot out, like, jumping clap traps. Or those critter that move and jump. At least clap traps are comparatively not that annoying of an enemy. Here we go. Spoke too soon. Here's the stupid army dillos. There we go. Misty Mine! Alright, we'll say hi to Funky once in the game. It's Funky's fight! Well, dudes, my name's Funky Kong! You want to go back to an old world? No. I want to go to Loopy Lights. I actually don't really want to go to Loopy Lights, but here we are. Here's a level that's a lot easier in the GBA version, because when the lights are off, you can still see pretty much perfectly fine. Because they're like, well, we don't need to make the background that dark, because people don't have a backlit screen. Oh, no. The red clap traps. Every time you jump, they jump. Which makes it really annoying to actually kill them, because you can't roll into them. Man, the mist levels are kind of a drag. Someone needs to get an electrician in here to fix these dang lights. They've gone loopy. Oh, I missed the K. Because I think it's in the bonus barrel. Oh, halfway point already? Feels like we just started. Ooh. Methinks maybe we don't. Oh, well, that was dumb. <laughs> You're lousy. Well, that's not very nice. That's a shame. We definitely needed that barrel for up here. Yep, right there. Right there. Well... I'd rather put this barrel right here and have an enemy right above it so when you pick it up, it destroys the enemy. 
Also, you need that barrel for a bonus barrel. I actually agree with the logic, it's pretty genius. But, you fool, we have Diddy Kong, who doesn't hold barrels above his head. Okay, well that's kind of mean putting an on barrel right there. <laughs> Again, Funky's theme got a total rehaul in the GBA version, and it's way better. Just just throwing it out there, it's way, way better in the GBA version. But the GBA version didn't make it into Smash Bros, so no, no, no. Excuse me! Oh, you didn't throw the barrel low enough down to the ground, so we didn't open the bonus room. Oof. Darn it. That tire is useless. So now you can reach the on-off barrel. Like you can also just jump to it. There we go. Well, yeah, that's what I've been trying to convince you guys of for the whole story. I don't want the ostrich! Okay, we're not going back in there again. <laughs> I, I am once again asking for you to accept this ostrich. Oh, this part of the level is kind of annoying. Up here, there's a bee that moves back and forth. And you gotta watch out for him. Hey! Oh, yeah, this part as well. These barrels, actually, that I'm jumping over don't come from Mankey Kong. Those are separate barrel targets that are unique only to this level. They try to fake you out with that one last stupid clap trap. Well, seeing as how we only have one level and two bosses left, we might as well finish up now. Yoo-hoo, Honeycomb! Honeycomb? That is not your name. Alright, Platform Perils. Really great final level. It introduces us to Grey Crusher. I love all of these, like, just invisible stuff that you, there's no way you'd find they actually made visible in the GBA version. <laughs> there we go! Dude, he freaks out. Man, that hat's never gonna be the same. Oh, there's also some crazy shortcuts you can do on this level. I'm gonna see if I can still do them all. Oh, I already missed that one. You can roll jump all the way over there. There are some, like, truly awesome shortcuts you can take on this level. Is there a... No, there's a camera there in the GBA version, not in... not a bonus barrel. That's okay. I like this level in the SNES version, too, though. Oh, well that... that's annoying to deal with, with your Diddy Kong. Forgot... man, I forgot how many armadillos are on this level. Okay, yeah, right here. Oh, what? Did he? You did not get anywhere close to the speed you were supposed to from that. Did he just put literally zero effort into that cartwheel? Oh, come on! Okay, maybe I should stop trying to be swag and just focus on doing it slow but steady, like the tortoise and the hare taught us. It's probably a better strategy if I want to finish up quickly. 
Oh, that's right. You can ignore that platform entirely. Diddy Kong, come on! You are giving the wimpiest cartwheels in the game. I've ever, I've never seen you be this stupid with your cartwheels. Alright, here we go. If you don't have swag, why bother playing the game? At least I have DK for this part. This part is a nightmare if you're Diddy, because Diddy can't really throw barrels very well. Wait, hang on, I remember this. Final bonus barrel. Oh, well, I wonder where the on guard. Don't you want the on guard token? Don't you? Don't you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? No, not even a little bit. I can't believe how bad you were at that game. <laughs> and there we go. That's the last bonus barrel. I can't wait to tell Cranky. Hey, boy, can you believe the shack they stuck me in? Go bananas in the snake pit of the reptile rumble. If you bounce a keg off a wall and then jump on it, you can ride it. I don't have anything else to tell you, but I go with the bonus barrels. I don't care. <laughs> you were slow. Neki's revenge. Here we go. It's Master Neki Sr. Well, that's right. We just fight Master Neki Sr. We don't have to fight both birds. Both birds is a lot harder. Wow, wow, that boss is way easier in this nest. <laughs> How is it the boss that gave me the hardest trouble was Dumb Drum and Master Neki the regular? Time for final boss! One of the best final bosses. Hi, King K. Rule. It's kind of dumb he just has the generic Kremlin sounds, though. It's my Smash Brothers main. All right. I like the King K. Rule boss fights because they're they're challenging, but they're very pattern based. So once you know the patterns, you can get for them real consistently. Plus, really good music. Greatest final boss ever. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Give him his GBA sound effects with the SNES music, and you'd have a perfect uh, final boss, pretty much. <laughs> Bye bye. Yeah, beat the game. Woo! <laughs> and now we get the credits. King K. Rule is the greatest final boss in Donkey Kong Country One. Objectively, yeah. It sure was nice of Crusher to make all the characters and Critter to do all the coloring. <laughs> the best fake out in any video game. The fake credits are glorious. That the fake credits are how you knew or when you knew K Rule was not gonna be your average final boss. And not your average main antagonist. No hit K Rule! Woo! Well done, Donkey, my boy! Who'd have fought a young whippersnapper like you? Could have beaten that bunch of no good Kremlins. You made your old man proud. But I noticed you didn't beat every bonus room. And go and look at your horn. I think you'll be in for a surprise. 
I hope it's a Culver's gift card. What a player you are, Docky, my lad! You've beaten the Kremlins! And found absolutely everything! You're nearly as good as I used to be. But if you play the GBA version, you can find pictures as well, and you have to spell Colin on every level. You know, Donkey Kong, those bananas are gonna go, like, spoil in, like, a day. Especially if they're all together like that. I don't care. We'll just encase them in gold. <laughs> yeah! Woo! <laughs> you know, that stream definitely went longer than I was anticipating by, like, an hour. But I'm glad we did it. I had, I had a blast. Who's Monkey Kong? Is Mooney Necky. And you know what, folks? Because I'm I'm feeling particularly great, the stream's not gonna end just yet. After we see the real credits, there's a couple things I wanna show off. Which are uh, kind of amazing. S Chomps. S Clambo. Squidgy. Don't mess with the squidgies. The Kremlins. Did you like all four of these critters? No. It's Clump! He was too stupid to move on Trick Track Trek. Crash! That's literally just a critter in a cart. Clap Trap! Ah, oh, Rock Crocs. If only they were on more levels. So, was anyone paying attention? Which level did I die the most on? I feel like the level I died the most on was either Misty Mine or, like, Vulture Culture. Or maybe Poison Pond. Forgot about Poison Pond. Kangaroo! The good guys. Uh, do we have to watch this? Oh, I'm Expressor, I helped! Not really. <laughs> You were more of, like, a hindrance than anything else. Ribbit, I'm Winky, I'll never appear in another Donkey Kong game. Is it my turn yet? Funky Kong, you saw him for half a second at the end of the game. Candy Kong, she's the only reason you can save. Surely it's me next. Cranky Kong, yeah, let's do it again. Diddy Kong. Donkey Kong. It's his game. Oh, this is where we get to see DK and Diddy, like, kind of beat each other up at the end, right? Oof. Wow. They're best friends, but they were literally just beating each other up. I did this using one life! And I took less than an hour. Cranky did the task. Now we get the real credits. A. Smith. Graphics Manipulator C. Peel. Wow. That guy's last name was Crook. That's unfortunate. Music! David Wise, Evelyn Fisher, and I don't know who Beanland is, but great job to the three of them. Look at all... More people tested the game than, like, actually worked on the game. <laughs> wow. Scheduling. S. Farmer. Perry Cox did the hardware? I cannot believe I have to work on this stupid game. <laughs> I don't think that's the same Cox, but... Silicon Graphics. Shigeru Miyamoto. 
Remember when Shigeru Miyamoto said that Donkey Kong Country was only popular because it had good graphics, and that long-term people wouldn't like it? Whoops. It's okay, Miyamoto. Everyone's wrong at some point. Okay, if there's one last thing we're gonna do before we finish. Oh, pfft. You only get to see a quarter of the Nintendo sign because that screen is randomly bigger. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Back to the jungle hijinks. Oh wait, no. No, hang on. No, no, no. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Get the DK barrel. Throw the DK barrel. Start select to leave. Now what we're gonna do... I really don't want to get the token. Alright, here we go. There we go! Oh yes! That's what we wanted! <laughs> Alright, are you guys ready? <laughs> so in case you can't tell... I am controlling both Donkey and Diddy at the exact same time. But if either of them die, then we lose. <laughs> and it gets kind of even weirder, depending on what level you select. So for example, that was a pretty normal level, but what if we went into Coral Capers? Oh, shoot. We have to do the level. We have to do the trick again. If you go into Coral Caper, some weird stuff's gonna happen. Actually, if we go back to the jungle hijinks, some weird stuff's gonna happen. Yeah, it's weird. So basically, like, if you start select to end the stage while the DK barrel's in midair, you get put into a weird state where if you die, like, you just kind of hang onto the screen and don't do anything. But if you die when you're above a pit, you'll actually fall and then it'll count as you dying, which is why we're dying in this specific spot right there. And then if you do that for- I don't know why, but for some weird reason, it's like, oh, hey, yeah, you can control both cards at the same time. So if we go to Coral Capers... Some very strange things are gonna start happening. Because Donkey Kong is gonna be walking while Diddy is gonna be swimming. <laughs> we can also make it, um, even weirder. We're on our last life now, so we gotta be careful. Not because, you know, we're gonna lose progress, but because the game over screen is real creepy in this game. Okay. Actually, no. I'd much rather have Diddy die than Donkey. Or, whoops. Then in that case, we're gonna need to do the tag team again. <laughs> Alright, Rambi. There we go, and we get a one-up. <laughs> I promise this is gonna lead to something worthwhile. Some There's a very weird thing you can do in conjunction with this glitch. Critter, get over here. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna now use this weird glitch to our advantage by introducing Rambi to the glitch. <laughs> and some very weird stuff's gonna start happening. Cause like we can both ride Rambi and then um yeah, some very strange stuff starts happening. 
Yeah, so now DK has turned into a second Rambi? With a weird coloration. Diddy's just kind of sitting there in midair doing... I don't even know no, what those what. And now DK's gray, and Diddy is yellow. And we also can't jump now. <laughs> and Rambi's gone! And now we're just perpetually sliding everywhere. And yeah, this this is just how it's how it's going. And what happens if like Diddy falls off a cliff here? It's Rambi's equal twin, Ibram, yeah. And now we're riding Rambi, which is kinda weird. I'm actually not gonna get Diddy calling because I need to get more one-ups. Uh, Rambi. Rambi's just doing this on his own. I can't jump when he's near the box. Okay, well, what if we get off Rambi, and now there's two Rambis. You know, just a, just a pretty normal day in Donkey Kong Country. It's nothing, nothing weird's going on. Nothing weird at all. I actually do need that one up, though. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, it's very, it's very trippy. Mmm. Okay, now we're gonna go back in the level. To the buddy barrel. Oh shoot, we're back to normal. That's not good. Okay. There's there's another really cool trick you can do. Again, as a result of this weird trick right here. Okay, DK die. I like having DK die because it's much harder to have DK die when he's above a pit than it is for Diddy to die when he's above a pit. Because DK is big and clunky and will often get stuck and not go in the pit. And if he doesn't, then you softlock the game. If we don't die when we're above a pit, we will just hit the ground and stay there for all eternity. Yeah, so we're doing that. Now what we're going to do... We're going to do the weird Rambi glitch again. Okay. So we're doing the Rambi glitch again, and this time we're going to lure Donkey Kong off a cliff. Right like that. Okay, so now we ended the level dying, but we're still on Rambi. So now what we're going to do... Um... We're going to visit Funky. Let's head to Monkey Mines, and now we're going to play Winky's Walkway. And something interesting is going to happen on Winky's Walkway. Oh, wait, what? Well, that's not what I was thinking would happen. Shoot. There's a way to get... Rambi on any level where there's... Like, if you do... I thought it was if you had a calm die while you were riding Rambi, and then went to another level that had an animal buddy on it, that you could be Rambi on that level. Including underwater levels. But I think I did the glitch wrong. Well, there's there's a couple other weird glitches. I'll show one more off and then we'll end the stream, because I really do need to prepare for tomorrow. Okay, one, one last thing, this, then this one's weird. This one's really weird. If you press the A button, if you press one of the buttons right where you're on this specific frame right here, on this corner, something really interesting happens. It's literally frame perfect. But if you do it just right. Something really interesting happens. Super promise. I'm not making this up. Oh, I thought I had it there. 
It is taking a while, but it works. Trust me, it works. Come on! What's taking so long? I'm probably not using the ideal controller for this, but... Okay, you know what I'm... <laughs> nah, no, I can, I'm keeping this up. I'm not... I was gonna remap some of my controller buttons to the keyboard, but no, I can keep this up. Ugh. It's literally frame perfect. Which is why I'm just mashing like crazy to try and make it so that one of the buttons will actually time it up, right? Sure, by all means. Share your trivia. Literally, yeah. Anytime there's like a corner on the map here, like you see it goes down and then it moves to the left. When we're on the junction in there, if we press A on the exact frame, we'll actually get taken to a special level. <sighs> wow! I didn't know that. Why is this... Okay, this is... I don't know why this is taking so long. Alright, I'm actually genuinely going to remap my buttons. A, S... Alright. Nope, that's the wrong way. Wow, no, 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 no. What the heck? Why did it just go full screen? Why did it really just go full screen? What the heck just happened? And now I can't get it out of full screen. Okay, that, and now, it, now it's fixed. That's, that was really weird. Oh, come on. Don't be like that, game. That is not the way I said to go. Wait, hang on. Oh, wait. This might not work on the... I have version 1.2. This might be a 1.0 only glitch. If you press the button on the junction, you're supposed to get taken like halfway through a Rainitane game for some reason. But I actually think it was patched out of the 1.2 version. Never mind. Alright, well, I think that's where we're going to end it there. I think I did everything in the game that I really possibly could, so... Yeah, thanks for joining in, everybody. This is an awesome stream, and uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do for Wednesday. I'm going to keep my options open. I'll, uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. It'll probably be a one-off. I'm still trying to think about what I want to be my next mainstream series after Backyard Baseball, so in the meantime, I'm content to just do randomizers. Anyways, thanks for joining in, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your night, and God bless, everybody.